Hi YouTube, thank you for joining me for another tutorial. Today we're going to be also reviewing the tube in a tube from our Freshgoes. And that's a mouthful in itself. So I've got a couple of those. So I'll be taking you through the process of how I would sketch on a tube in a tube. And also my daughter is going to be taking part in this tutorial as well and she is going to be doing one using Posca paint pens and I've opted to go with the Pro Marker brush pens for these sort of Pro Marker pens here. So yeah I'll just quickly open up one of these and I'll show you what you get inside the tube. This is one that I did earlier. It's um, it's got kind of like a virusy feel to it, which is quite relevant at the moment. But yeah, today I might either do the end of this or start a new one. I might go with a top to bottom. But they're quite big, so you can either do two panels or you can do a whole car. So you've got a lot of um, space to do your drawing. So you'll need your tube in the tube, obviously, your pro markers, a pencil, a rubber if you need it, a pen to outline with. Or if you're opting to use paint markers, a nice selection of paint markers and you're ready to go. Right, so when you've got all your pens and paper, your tube in the tube, there's nothing left to do but to do what we do. Let's get into this. Hi, my name's Lou, and today I'll be showing you how to do a tube in tube. Hi, my name's Lou, and today I'll be showing you how to do a tube in a tube pos with Posca paint pens. What's that say, Lil? Um, Lily Lou one two five. Very good. So we've had to use a book to hold it down and some stones because it's quite long but Lily's nearly there, she's halfway through it and obviously the wind made that paint splatter across her piece but it looks quite nice like that so she's happy with that as an effect. Lily Lou 125 
hold back to block. Okay, so this being an honest review and tutorial, um, I would say being that the tube is wrapped and stored in a tube when, it's, when it comes and you take it out, it has a tendency to fold up. So you'll need to hold it down with a, a marker or some other weight to keep it flat on the table, stop it rolling away every time. Next, you're going to need your pencil and rubber, and I'm probably going to just do a panel, so I'm going to do half the train because it's quite long um, just for this video. And I think this is going to be dedicated to a writer called Jinx who uh, sent me this tube in a tube. I think he wanted me to do custom piece on it and then he would finish it off so thanks for that jinx when i next see you i'll give you your tube and the tube back so yeah i'm going to start by sort of freestyling a piece on here because i've been doing graffiti for many years i kind of have my own style and typical go-to letters that i normally use when i'm piecing so it's a panel piece, so they will be sitting on the edge of the train. So if I start sort of where the doors are, or sort of maybe from this window here, yeah. I'll just do a D. I like, the, I like to curve the Ds, have them swooping out <laughs> quite jagged. No, just have them sitting on the edge as if I was painting a real panel. Obviously this doesn't beat the real thing but it's probably a good way to plan your, your designs. Go with a little E. Yeah, go with my little E. So what I do is I like to interlock the letters. So I'll have maybe part of the M cutting into the E 
I'm going behind the E and I like to throw sort of abstract shapes on like a maybe a corner of a star on the edge of that and also I like to include as many arrows and stuff as I can because it's graffiti tradition to have arrows and stars and those sort of funky shapes in your letters so I like to use the arrow in the center of the M I've been doing that for many years and it's sort of a signature thing for me my M's and I have a little cut out bit in the middle like that maybe a chunky bit coming off that way and then we just finish off with an S so an S for me would mimic the E so we've got the curve of the, the small E here we try and mimic that here and then sweep it around to give it that S unique S or recognizable S shape and then have it sitting on the edge Kicking out, give it a little point there, give it a little bit of a, a sharp corner at the top of the S, bring it round. That's my S. Um, maybe if you give this space a little fill there with on the E, I normally do it on the D as well. The graph is all about balance and spacing out your shapes and filling out spaces as well. So it's just there's not you don't have too much big gaps in between parts of your letters. You have enough just to show where your 3D will fall. But yeah, that's my outline. I'm quite happy with that now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this permanent permanent marker universal and I'm just going to outline where my shapes of the letters where I'm happy with the letters. The pencil is just to get the basic sketch like the bones of the piece down and I'm going to use the marker to make it more permanent and then I can start filling in the colours. When I piece, I like to have parts sort of entering into other areas of the letter and then just cutting them off. So you don't always complete that, that line. You wouldn't feel that whole line. You just break it up and have them cutting or interlocking into each other. And sometimes you can have bits overlapping. So I like the E because it's got kind of character to it. You can almost imagine it being a little character itself with, with an eye here and a mouth. It's got a sort of a cheeky devilish grin. And uh, make the M cut into the E where it sort of kicks out like that. I like the whips. So then just cut that like that. Maybe a dot there. Right, let's finish this off. Nice curve on that S point. And then it's resting on this ledge like that. I quite like that, it's something different. I've not done an S like this yet. So maybe next time I'm at our fresh goes painting the tube train there, I'll give it a try. So next I'll get the rubber and just go over this, just brush the rubbings off afterwards. The reason why we get the rubbings off and the pencil marks off 
is that we want to lay down the pro marker color and the pencil will often show up in the pro marker colors so we want to make it nice and crisp and now I've done the rubbing just give it a brush off just tidy it up a bit So I think with this piece I'm going to go with a blue, so I'm going to use this blue pro marker and I like my pieces to be quite flat, so what I'll do is I'll go with one colour, fill out the letters in this one colour and then use a darker blue to do some patterns with it. Um, some people like to go to town with their colouring in, that's fine, you do what you need to do but I like to keep my stuff quite simple. Alright, so I'm going to use the chisel tip, just brush it on. Yeah, so now I've got the uh, blue light blue base, I'm going to add some patterns with this colour here. True blue. quite like this pinky purple colour. I'll do 3D, we'll do our 3D going that way so we just draw out from the corners and just fill that in. So I'm just going to try and outline with this pen, might have a bit more control with this one. Yeah, that's working a lot better. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some stripes, some black lines uh, across the purple. this and in the tight corners that's where you want the darkest patch of black so it'll go up so right here would be dark and we'll bring it up to about here do some lines out again here Work your way down. So 
So I think yellow would work quite nice as a background colour. So I like to just do kind of angular shapes like this. You could do a bubble cloud if that's what you want. That. And I'll just go around it, just filling in the yellow. I'm going to use like a magenta colour and probably add some, some extra dimension to it so I could do like a smoky vapour twisting around and going in between letters. So I'll just finish it off with some hit ups. So I might do a Jinx tag. So it'd be G I N C S Jinx. I'll do a Yo Yo Jinx. Dirty Dems. Twenty, twenty, maybe a little COVID nineteen here. There you go. And there you have it. How to do your own train tube in a tube panels. From home. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you want to get hold of your own tube in a tube, you can click the link in the description section of this video, which will take you through to our Freshco shop. And you could be colouring in one with your kids very soon.